What is up everyone, my name is iTrooper and today I'm showing you guys how to install EUP and EUP add-ons to your LSPDFR. So as always, the first thing you guys want to do is click the first download link in the description below. That's going to bring you guys right here to the Emergency Uniforms Pack, Law and Order. Obviously you guys are going to need LSPDFR and obviously you guys are going to need a GTA 5 copy. Pretty simple things and you are going to need your OpenIV. If you don't know how to install OpenIV, all you guys got to do is watch the beginning of my LSPDFR tutorial video and I'll show you guys how to install that there. But the first thing you guys want to do is head over here and click download this file. Make sure you're installing the top one, which is called EUP Law and Order 8.2 RAW, whatever version you're installing. This will be the exact same way no matter what version you're installing. No matter if it is version 3, it doesn't matter, it will still be the same way. So once that is finished installing, I'm going to cut back to once it's finished installing and I'll show you guys the rest of the tutorial. So now guys, once it's finished installing, open it on up. You're going to be greeted with just AOIV. So... Very, very similar to the previous one we just did. Minimize out your browser, drag and drop this OIV onto your desktop, like so. Bring up your OpenIV, click the square on the top left hand corner, the package installer. Select your S and R OIV version 1.4. Open it on up. It's going to bring you to this page right here, just like Law and Order. A package installer, you can read this if you want to. Also, it says all the people involved in making EUP. Very great, guys. Hit install. As always, install it to your mod folder, never to your game folder. Install and confirm installation. This doesn't take very, very long whatsoever. Let this install. And then once it's installing, bring up the next download link in the description below. That's going to be this one right here. This is the last thing we're going to be installing today. And this is what we'll be bringing your LSPFR, that extra little bit of realism and your EUP. You guys check on the images. You have these very, very cool vests which you would not get normally in game. There are a bunch of them, there are tons of them, and I would 100% recommend installing this if you haven't already. And they're also highly detailed, and obviously you can check out this video if you want to. And as you can see here, it is a very, very popularly installed mod. So what you guys want to do is hit download this file. Let it install. This one's a little bit bigger as well. So once this has begun installing, I'm going to cut back to once this has finished installing. But just before we do that, you can minimize out your browser and make sure your server and rescue is installed. Once it says installation succeeded, just hit close. And now you'll wait for your vests to finish installing. So as you guys can see, my EUP just finished installing. What you're going to be greeted with is one file, no, two files even, and one folder. This is what we are going to need to drag and drop into your GTA 5 and install in your OpenIV. All you guys want to do is drag and drop this EUP Law and Order IV, I have no clue why two are open, that is interesting. Drag and drop this EUP Law and Order 8.2 OIV onto your desktop. For me, it's going to ask to replace it because I already have it installed because I'm going to be doing a bunch of LSPDFR game saves. And then once that is on your desktop, you now want to bring up your Open IV. So bring up your Open IV, open up your Open IV, and select your Windows for your Grand Theft Auto. Let it start up, start up as you usually would, shouldn't take too long. Once it is opened, what you guys want to do is navigate to the square on the top left hand corner. It's going to have a white square with a blue, red and two green squares in it. Hit it and choose the EUP law and order OIV. Obviously, you guys will not have near as many as OIVs as I have on my desktop unless you are doing a bunch of LSP of our game saves like I am. But all you guys want to do is click the OIV and hit open. It's going to bring you guys right here to a little package installer page. It's got a bunch of instructions on this and just a little bit about EUP. If you want to read it, feel free to do so. But if you don't, just hit install. Select your mod folder. I can't stress this enough. Never install mods to your GTA 5 directly. This will mess up your game and you will not have anything to back up on if something goes wrong. Always install this to your mods folder. If you do not know how to make a mods folder, then watch my video on how to make one because I can guarantee you, you will not regret it. Hit mods folder and click confirm install. Let it install. Shouldn't take too long. Should take a couple of seconds. If that. And then once that is installing itself. All you guys want to do is now navigate to your GTA 5 main directory. So wherever you installed your GTA 5. For Epic Games users and for Rockstar Games users. Your GTA 5 main directory will be down in the description below. But for Steam users I'm going to show you guys how to get to that right now. All you guys want to do is go to where your GTA 5 is installed. Whatever drive it's installed on. Program files 86. Steam, Steam Apps, and Common. Choose a GTA 5 folder you want to mod. As always, revert back to my LSPDFR video if you do not know how to make two copies of your GTA 5 or more. Choose a GTA 5 folder you want to mod and simply just drag and drop this plugins folder into your GTA 5 main directory. 
making sure, of course, that you are not drag and dropping into any folders. Just on the blank space here, drag and drop it in. For me, it's going to ask to replace it since I already have EUP installed, but for you, it will not. And then now you've finished installing the first part of your EUP. Now, just bring back up your OpenIV. Should have already finished and just click close after your EUP is successfully installed. And now we got a couple more things to install. Hit the second download link in the description below. That's going to bring you guys right here to the EUP menu. As you can tell by the name and by all the pictures provided, this is what's going to be giving you guys this little pop-up menu on the side. We can go into your accessories, emergency apparel, service apparel, just a bunch of cool stuff like that. All you guys want to do is hit download this file, agree and download. Let it install. This one is tiny, so it should not take near as much time as the first one did. You can close that in your browser if you haven't already. And now bring up the EUP menu release. Double click on files. And then what you're going to want to do is drag and drop these two files and folders into your GTA 5 main directory. So minimize out your browser. Bring up your GTA 5 main directory. Highlight these two and drag and drop it into a blank space on your GTA 5 main directory. Yet again, making sure no folder is highlighted like this. Drag and drop it in. Yet again, for me, it's going to ask to replace the two files. Obviously, for you, it won't because you don't already have it installed. And then once it's done that, close out your EUP menu and hit the next download link in the description below. That's going to bring you guys right here to the Emergency Uniforms Pack Serve and Rescue. As you guys can tell by the name, this is pretty very similar to the Law and Order Pack, but this time installing a bunch of Serve and Rescue stuff. So post stops. It basically installs Serve and Rescue. So you've got like services got security, you have some prison officers, you have lifeguards, you have another another lifeguard, you have fire, and this is all pretty much finishing off everything you need in your LSPDFR. As you guys can see here, you do need all the other stuff we just installed. Hit download this file, just like the other one, install the top one, hit download, should be done in a couple of seconds, it is only a 160 megabyte file, a little bit bigger than all the other ones you had installed. But it should not take you that long. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back to once this is finished installing. Okay, so once this is finished installing, open the download on up. This is going to be a little bit on the confusing side. Something that if you haven't installed this before, might be a little bit confusing to you. All you guys want to do is double click on EUP vests and earpiece. Go down to files and here you have a bunch of vests. Now this depends on the style you like. If there is a bunch of different versions of this, you double click on vest 13. Of a bunch of different setups. If you double click on Vest 13 JPEG, J, oh my god, JPG or JPEG, it's going to bring up a different, a bunch of different choices. So set one is this one right here, set two and set three. Obviously, this corresponds to these guys right here. So obviously, it depends on what taste you like on the vest, but it'll still be the exact same way to install it in the exact same place. All you guys want to do, you can now close out your browser, whatever you want to do. And now bring back up your OpenIV. This time it's not as simple as clicking the open package installer. All you guys want to do, navigate to mods, update, x64, DLC packs. And then all you guys want to do is double click on the EUP folder, the new thing that the OIVs install for you. DLC.RPF, x64, EUP component ped.RPF. And then choose MPF free mode 01. If you guys look through here, you will be able to see now, there are a bunch of different text edition dictionaries. Oh my god, English is not my strong point today, as you guys can see. But this is pretty much all the vest textures and all your uniform textures. And this is where we are going to be installing these vests. So, I'm going to be choosing from this image the ATF police one. So, setup three. I'm gonna, all I'm going to do is then is drag and drop this MP3 mode 01 MPM clothes 01. That's a long stretched out folder name. Drag and drop it into this folder right here. If you guys see, you will not be able to drag and drop this in. It has a little red cross. So that's because all you guys need to do is head up to the top right hand corner here. Click edit mode and yes. And now if you drag and drop it in, it should be able to do it. And once you've done that, you can back out. You can choose the next vest. Yet again, choose the vest you like. I'm going to be choosing setup. I like setup 4. We're going to choose setup 4. Drag and drop this folder in. And now vest 11. I'm going to choose which vest I like. I like setup 2, seems to be the nicer one, in my opinion, I'm going to drag and drop that one in, and now vest 10, setup 1 is the only setup you have, so you don't even need to worry about that, vest 9, you guys can choose which vest you like, this is only a one option yet again, 
So you can choose a drag and drop the little bigger one. I would recommend doing that if you want to change your outfits around quite a lot as it gives you that little bit more of universal clothes changing so you can put a hoodie on and things like that. And then vest 8. This is only one setup and yet again, drag and drop it in. Now vest 7. You have multiple setups, obviously view the JPEG. I'm going to choose this one right here. Drag and drop it in. It's very, very simple. Vest 6. This has a lot of different options. So check your vest 6, JPEG. I like to choose this one right here. I think it's very, very nice and simple. And it is something you don't generally get to have. So I'm going to choose setup 1 right here. And I am going to choose a bigger size because, yet again, it gives you a little bit more universal space in your game. So you can change your hoodies and your tops and everything like that. That's 5. Choose your version. Only has one version, so you need to worry about that. Choose size 2 is what I'd recommend. Drag and drop it in. Best 4, choose your version yet again. I think I've said this a million times. I'm going to choose this one right here as I love rocking LAPD. I'm going to drop it in. Best 3, choose your version. Like a broken record here, I'm going to choose setup 2. A little bit of extra detail. Very, very nice. Now best 2, choose your version. I'm going to choose this one right here. My favorite out of the bunch. So I believe that is setup 1. Now vest 1, choose your vest version. I'm going to choose this one right here, setup 4. Drag and drop it in. And now for the little bit of extra pieces that this comes with, including earpieces, hoodies, and tops and hats. Let's double click on extra stuff. T-shirt, drag and drop this in. Long sleeve T-shirt, drag and drop this in. Hoodie, drag and drop it in. As you can guess, drag and drop it in. Yet again drag and drop it in now for the last thing on the list the ear pieces drag and drop them in very very simple and pretty much the same thing for any other eup add-on so i hope you guys did find this video useful if you did please be sure to leave a like on this video i appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end i am fighting for that watch time on youtube right now so i do apologize if i try to stretch it out a little bit longer than usual but i am trying to get to that 4k hours of watch time i hope you guys appreciate that so i can get a little bit of money on the sides so obviously i can you know get some better content out for you guys get some better equipment and everything along those lines so if you haven't already please be sure to subscribe check out all my links down in the description below including my merchandise my discord and my reddit if you guys are interested in them be sure to head down below and check them out comment down below if this video didn't work for you and i'll try to help you out in the comment section if not I'll link you to my Discord or somewhere else where I can help you a little bit more privately and get things sorted for you. But other than that, thank you guys so, so much for the continued support, and I'll see you guys in the next LSPFR video.